what's going on YouTube furious gonzo's in the building hope everybody's having a great day today and a great weekend I just wanted to talk about by now everybody seen it the incident with the car and the biker there and uh, give my two cents of course I'm gonna try to give it as uh, unbiased as possible but you know sometimes it's kind of hard to be biased on certain things but I definitely try my hardest so by now everybody's seen it, you know, the motorcycle and the car, they were driving and um, we only seen the scene where, you know, the car was coming up on the motorcycle and the motorcycle kicked the driver, rear, left, or the fender back there, trunk area, the car like ends up swerving into the median and swerving over to the other lane and it, it was just a mess, it was a mess and, uh, you know, a lot of people have a different um you know opinion on it a lot of people think that it was the bikers fault or at least that's how the news is playing it out um, a couple of people that are bikers are blaming the car because you know it, it, I mean if you can see from the video kind of, you can't really tell how it all started you know for me I know everybody say oh because you ride a bike this is why you're going that way I'm gonna say it is the cars fault I mean, and, and this is the reason why. I mean, as you guys see, we're on a, we're on a bike right now, a ZX-10R. Uh, there is no sides to protect me. It's straight wind. Straight wind. So if a car should come over on me now and hit me, I am going down. And it's going to hurt like hell. You know, or if a car hits me on a highway like that, you know, God forbid at high speeds like that, it could, it could take my life. I, I could be done. You know, so stuff like that cars don't realize or people in cars don't realize that any little movement even if you swerve over and I jerk the wrong way the bike could go down it, it's done so you it we really don't have much protection now was the car wrong for kicking him you know or excuse me was the biker wrong I should say for kicking him yeah you know I understand the car might have came up on you and everything like that you know you gotta kind of control your anger and just you know slow back and let the car go or you know I mean I'm not sure again I'm not sure how it all started I have not seen the whole full video where it started before the biker came through but the way it looked like from where I saw it the biker was like literally getting pushed over to the side by the car and then he just kicked the car just BAM um, and I think the car did a little bit of over exaggerated There's no way like for instance if I kick this red car right here that it's gonna swerve or any car is gonna swerve no matter how high speeds there's, there's no amount of force that I can give it to make it move that much the car weighs a couple hundred tons well not a couple hundred I'm exaggerating of course but at least two, two tons one ton I mean that's a lot of weight that car has and I have not I do not cannot even generate that amount of force to make the car swerve the way it swerved so that car really sold it over exaggerated and I think I really think the car was not trying to hit the wall but really was trying to take down the biker but when they swerved as hard as they did they didn't realize that they were going right into that median wall and then when it hit the wall they swerved again and it ended up going to the other lane so you know as far as that part goes that was all the car the biker had no 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 fault at that he there's no way again no way possible he could have kicked that with enough force to, to make the car swerve the way it did. There's just, I cannot fathom that. that. That's ridiculous. So, on that part, I blame the car on that. That that car was all wrong. Again, should the biker have kicked it? You know, that, that that's going to be, that's going to be depending on the person. I personally don't like riding, especially on highways, don't like riding near cars. So I'm either going to go really fast to get ahead of all the cars so that way I'm by myself or I'm going to hang back a little, you know, instance where there's traffic like today that I'm catching here, you know, I, I try to stay a good distance behind the car. I'm always checking my rear view mirror and uh, making sure or my side view mirrors, I should say, making sure the car behind me is slowing down and all that. And I try to stay by the line. And the reason why I stay by the line is say this car behind me this red truck doesn't end up slowing down because they're texting and you know I, I noticed they're coming up a little faster I will move up on the line to the side of this car here 
and I've done it before because cars have done it. They're not paying attention and they're they're coming up and they they almost hit you from behind. You know, and that that's the worst thing for a biker, just sitting at a light and being hit from behind, especially if the biker is not paying attention because a lot of them don't. They, you get hit and that that's like the worst injuries ever. So me personally, every time I come to a stop, I'm looking at my rear view mirrors and I'm seeing what that car behind me is doing. And if I notice the car is not slowing down, I just slowly move up on the side of whatever car is in front of me on the line just to be safe. That way, if anything, he's going to hit that car and not me. And, you know, I should hopefully potentially be good. It's never failed on me yet. Of course, everybody has their own different opinions on it. Now, if I do see the car slowing down, then, you know, I'll stay where I'm at. You know, but if it's not, that's where it goes. So, anyway, that's getting off subject, though. But, uh, yeah, just, you know, bikers out there, if you're a biker, you ride. You know, let me know your opinion on it, what you think. Personally, again... I really think the car oversold it and was really trying to run him off the road hard and ended up just causing the biggest accident ever, you know. And everybody's like, oh, the biker should have stopped, this and that. No, the biker shouldn't stop. The biker didn't do nothing wrong. Biker stopped to make sure he didn't get smashed into that wall. He was the smart one, you know. The kicking, okay, a little bit of vandalism, whatever, or whatever you want to call it now because I've seen videos where... You know, you got the helicopters in the sky that caught a bike uh, punching out a side view mirror. And they got he got vandalism. He's got uh, destruction of property and some other crap they try to charge him with. And, you know, it's cool. So, just when you guys are out there, again, you know, be safe. You We are on two, you know, drivers. If you're driving out there, texting the driver and try not to do keep the phone down i know sometimes you feel like the texas can't wait or you know the world's gonna stop if you do not respond to this person it's really not it is really not just be careful and um again that's my view on it uh as far as bikers you know if you guys have road rage like that you're gonna have to kind of hold it in or uh, you see a car coming to try to hurt you slow it down or just take off on them i mean there's, your bikes are fast you know, especially if you got leader bikes like me. I take off on a car, they're not catching me. There is no way, I promise you right now. So, it's that simple. Just be safe out there, guys. Try to control your road rage as much as you can. You know, I know sometimes it could be like hell to do so. But do what you can to protect yourself um, without trying to kick a car or anything like that. You know, there's other ways to protect yourself and other way to take your anger out. And just, um, you know... Just try that out. Anyway, guys, I'm going to let you go from here. Uh, you guys have a great day today. And uh, if you like the video, please subscribe. Give it a like. Definitely leave your comments. Like I said, I would love to hear your review on uh, what you got. Or not review, but opinions on uh, what you guys think, who was wrong, or who was right with that video. And um, again, thanks for watching, everyone. Peace.